I was always faced with a certain barrier, but it's not like upfront racism. I wouldn't really label it as that, but it's all, all these subtleties. I used to love watching stuff like Jackie Chan and Jet Li Donnie Yen, and I used to thought to myself, wow, what if Australia made stuff like this? What if I can be like a character like this? That kind of drew me overseas to actually being able to see how it all works. But at the same time, going overseas and gaining experiences on, you know, Roger Corman film and films in Vietnam and China, I kind of still want to bring that back home because I still feel like I'm an Australian. I think with my film Subtractor, it, I kind of wanted to attack that issue, but I've seen on YouTube and on the web, everyone attacking this issue on a very serious, like, sort of perspective. I thought, you know what? Why can't we do something a bit opposite? Because I don't want to be sort of blaming the other. When I first started, I was sort of doing a lot of indie films in um, Western Sydney, right? And it got leveraged with a couple of networks. But they always came to me and go, oh, you know, what you do is really cute. Yeah, I love your community cute filmmaking. Actually, the, the subtractor is a man of few words. Yep. But I can't even find one. I guess with the mockumentary, I wanted to follow it through a journey of someone going all the way right to the end. Hacking people to bits with a samurai sword and throwing rice in a ninja's face. And it looked great. 